I'm Amy, the Bunny Lady, and this is my partner, Elusive, Ellie for short. High five. Good job. Good job. And today, we are going to teach you how to know if your rabbit is not feeling well. If you are new to our channel, welcome. We give tips and tricks for how to make sure you have a happy and healthy bunny in your home. So if that's the kind of thing that you're interested in, then feel free to hit that subscription button and the notification bell next to it so you never miss any of our weekly videos. So for rabbits, it's actually not that simple to know if they're not feeling well. Since rabbits are prey animals in the wild, they often survive by kind of pretending they aren't sick. This will prevent predators from coming and picking them off, thinking that they're a weak link or easy prey. However, as pets, this means it's really difficult to know that they're sick until rabbits are really sick. So we need to learn how to pay attention to subtle differences in a rabbit's body language and behavior so that we can catch signs of illnesses early and get them the help they need before it becomes a serious illness. So we're going to go over some of the most common signs that your rabbit is sick so that you can pay attention to your rabbit's behavior and know when they're not feeling well. The first sign that we're going to get over is a change in your rabbit's pooping habits. It's generally a good idea that every day when you are scooping out your rabbit's poop, you <laughs> take a look at it every day to make sure that it's pretty consistent. So what you're looking for is a pretty consistent size and color of your rabbit's little cuckoo puff poops. <laughs> um, if there's a large number of poops that are drastically smaller than they should be, or a large number of deformed poops, or a large number of poops that are kind of double or triple, like merged into one, those are all signs that you probably want to pay attention to their health. Look for any other signs, are their eating habits the same? the energy level is the same because that's an early indication of a lot of different rabbit health conditions simply because anything from stress to pain and discomfort can end up causing your rabbit's digestion to be disrupted a little bit it will often slow down when there are any of these other external factors even if it's not directly related to their digestive system now if your rabbit has stopped pooping altogether like you haven't seen them pooping for the last 10 to 12 hours, then that's actually an emergency situation and you need to get your rabbit to the vet as soon as possible. Because this means that your rabbit's digestive system has stopped completely and their health really relies on the continuous movement of their digestive system. They're likely going into gestasis, which can be a health condition of itself, but it can also be a symptom of many, many other rabbit illnesses. So that's definitely a sign you need to get your rabbit help right away. Similarly, a change in eating habits is also a big sign that your rabbit is getting sick. Most rabbits will absolutely love coming up to you for a treat, or they will, you know, pretty consistently be eating hay through the day. They'll love getting their pellets, and their leafy greens is just their favorite, their favorite food, whether you give it in the morning or for dinner. So if your rabbit suddenly turns down their leafy greens, if they don't seem to be eating any hay that day, uh, if their pellets end up just sitting there when they usually gobble them up right away, then you know something is wrong and your rabbit really isn't feeling well. I like to do a daily treat test. So every night at basically the same time every night, I give my rabbit one of her favorite treats. And this is an easy way to know if she isn't feeling well because if she ever does not come running to me at that time for the treat, then you know that, that she's not feeling well because <laughs> Ellie would never turn down a treat. So if you make a, a routine of doing this every day, then you'll at least know once a day with the treat test that your rabbit is, the, rap, the appetite is doing okay. Sometimes a change in rabbit eating habits can also be they're eating pellets or they're eating the food and they drop it a lot. That can often be an early indication of some kind of a dental problem, like their teeth are overgrowing and they're having difficulty holding onto their food. So that's something to look out for. Also, if they used to eat hay without a problem, but now they tend to go for the pellets more uh, and they are kind of refusing to eat hay. That is also another indication of a dental problem because hay is rougher and more difficult for rabbits to eat. So it's better for their teeth, but also more difficult to, for them to eat if they have tooth problems. So that is another indication that your rabbit may have some kind of dental problems that you need to get checked out. The same with not pooping. If your rabbit hasn't eaten for 10 to 12 hours, 
then that is an emergency situation and you need to get your rabbit to the vet right away. Usually these two will come together if your rabbit isn't e eating, they're not going to be pooping. So, and if they're not pooping, they're probably not eating. So usually they'll come together and they are a sign of a, a serious emergency. If you don't get your rabbit to the vet, their condition can get worse very fast. So definitely take, take those signs seriously, take those symptoms seriously and get your rabbit the help they need. Sometimes you will notice your rabbit sitting in kind of funny positions. Either they will be pressing their belly against the ground or they will be kind of up on their toes like, like they look like they want to sit in a loaf, a rabbit loaf position, but they don't want to put their belly against the ground because that would be painful for them. Either one of these two positions are an indication that your rabbit might not be feeling well. The, the one where they're kind of up on their toes and don't want to press their belly into the ground, that's called a hunched posture, and that's generally an indication of GI stasis um, because it's their, their gut isn't moving as it should, and that means that it's kind of their whole digestive system feels painful. Uh, you'll often notice that their eyes get kind of squinty and painful at the same time. They'll probably not want to move around very much. The, the decreased energy levels is definitely almost always in combination with this. So this is another indication that your rabbit needs help and you should make an appointment with your vet. Another common symptom that you'll see for just about any rabbit illness is a decrease in energy levels. This you will need to compare to your rabbit's normal daily, daily activity. So obviously young rabbits will normally be a lot more active than old rabbits, but if suddenly one day they are just sitting around, they refuse to move, uh, they're hardly even responding to you when you go try to socialize with them, then that's a pretty good indication that they're not feeling well and you need to make an appointment with your vet. Since this is such a common symptom for rabbits, what I'll do if I notice that they seem to be low on energy and not moving around much, then I will look for any other symptoms. So I will make sure I check their litter box. Have they been pooping today? I will try to entice them with food to see if they're eating so that I know how severe of an illness this is. Maybe it's just temporarily today they're not feeling well. But if you do notice the not eating and not pooping along with the lower energy levels, then that's a pretty clear indication that your rabbit's in an emergency situation and needs help. When rabbits catch a cold, it's actually a much more serious condition than it is for humans or even other animals. If it's not treated in time, it can very easily become fatal for rabbits. Now I say rabbit cold, but it is technically not the, the virus that us humans get when we have a cold. It's actually a bacteria. There's a couple different bacteria that cause symptoms that look like a cold in rabbits. It's actually called snuffles. And what it is, is it's an upper respiratory infection. Um, it's, it's caused by bacteria, so antibiotics can help them in this case. And usually symptoms that you will notice are snotty nose, runny eyes, and difficulty breathing. So those kinds of symptoms are things that you want to look out for. If they're sneezing a lot and you notice discharge, like a snot actually coming from their nose, then that is not a good sign. If it's a, like a, a thinner liquid, that means it's earlier stages of snuffles. If it's thicker and more snot-like, that means it's more later stages. A very early sign of snuffles is actually matted fur on your rabbit's front paws. So this happens because when they're washing their face, they'll use their paws and the water from watery eyes or more liquidy snot coming from their nose can end up rubbing off on their arms and matting up the fur there. So if you notice a dirty matted mess on your rabbit's paws, then that's a good indication that they have uh, snuffles. Especially if you also notice that they're sneezing a lot lately, then you just want to make an appointment with your vet so that you can get antibiotics to help your rabbit get better. Rabbits are obligate nose breathers, which means they basically have to breathe through their nose. Now, interestingly, this doesn't mean that they absolutely cannot breathe through their mouth, but it is a serious sign of illness. It means that something's not working right with their nose if they are breathing through their mouth. So if you ever notice that your rabbit is actually breathing through their mouth, like you can see their lips moving and you can see that that's how they're breathing, then that's an indication that your rabbit is not feeling well. 
It is not always easy to tell that your rabbit is mouth breathing, but a lot of times what it will come with, since rabbits aren't really made to breathe through their mouths, they end up drooling a lot. So if you notice a lot of wetness and drool on a rabbit's chin, that often means that they are mouth breathing. It could also mean that their teeth are too long. Either one of those could cause your rabbit to have drool a lot, which, is, which makes it an indication that your rabbit is not feeling well. Now, if your rabbit is a sloppy drinker, like they're drinking from their bowl and they get water all over their chin, then, then that's okay, that's just they're a sloppy drinker. But if, that's, if their chin is wet and that is not the cause, then that's when you should be concerned. Another indication of illness in rabbits is a change in urinating habits. So if your rabbit is very consistent with using the litter box, they'll go pee there all the time, they never, they basically never have any accidents, then suddenly starting to pee outside the litter box can be an indication of illness. Now in some cases, such as with elderly rabbits, they may be peeing outside the litter box because they have arthritis and it's difficult for them to hop in. So in cases like that, you can go to the vet and get a pain medication to help your rabbit manage their symptoms. But sometimes they're peeing outside of the box because they have a urinary tract infection or they have bladder stones or bladder sludge. So in these cases, it's just they have less control over their bladder and they end up peeing outside of the litter box. So it can be an indication of a more serious illness that you need to go to a vet and get diagnosed and get help for your rabbit. Now, of course, rabbits can pee outside the litter box for other reasons too. Uh, for example, there are territorial reasons a rabbit might pee outside of their litter box if they're claiming their territory. And also, if their litter box isn't cleaned very often, sometimes they'll pee outside of the litter box to protest the dirty litter box. It doesn't necessarily mean your rabbit is sick, but it can be a good indication, and it can be a reason to go get your rabbit checked out to see if there's some kind of sickness that, that you can detect early. Matted or balding fur is another symptom of possible infections or illnesses. It could be a skin infection, it could be an infestation of fleas or mites or something like that. A matted fur, especially around the face, can be an indication of some kind of infection. Balding spots can be some kind of skin irritation, but it could also be mites, fleas, or some other more serious skin disease. So it's always worth getting checked out. Now it is worth noting that some rabbits do shed in like a, a balding pattern. It's called a coat blow, where they end up losing big patches of their fur all at once rather than the normal like shedding slowly one coat to the other. So they'll basically lose big patches of their fur. If you notice the skin underneath the fur is kind of red and irritated and the the fur doesn't start growing back right away within a few days, then that's more likely that there's something wrong with the skin and it's not just a normal shedding pattern. And another subtle symptom that you will see in your rabbit is more aggressive behavior than usual. So if your rabbit is usually very friendly with you, like you two are real close, but suddenly they start snapping at you, maybe they lunge at you or try to bite you even, they could be acting like this because they're in pain and they just need to lash out to vent their frustration about it. There are other reasons why rabbits can be aggressive too. For example, if they're just reaching maturity and you haven't gotten them spayed or neutered yet, it is pretty common for rabbits to suddenly start getting more aggressive. But if it's just a sudden shift in behavior that doesn't seem to have some other source, then it's definitely worth looking for other symptoms of illness, such as uh, checking their poop, seeing if there's like a change in their poop size, like maybe they, their poops have gotten a lot smaller and you just didn't notice before. You can check for other symptoms and then make an appointment with your vet to uh, try to diagnose uh, any illness that, might, that they might be hiding with their aggression. If a rabbit is showing a lack of balance, then that is another symptom of rabbit illnesses. So they might start falling over. In some cases, their head will tilt completely over and they'll just kind of be walking around like this. Often that is an indication of some kind of infection, um, either in their ears or in their skull. So definitely something to take seriously. Even if it just seems like they're a little bit off balance, you definitely want to take them into the vet 
it could be that they injured their foot or something also maybe not something as serious as a, an infection in their skull but still worth getting it checked out and getting your rabbit the health that they need so that they can recover and be comfortable if you see some of these symptoms in your rabbit and you want to know what to do next then you definitely want to make an appointment with your vet um, if they are not eating or not pooping those are emergency situations and you want to go in for an emergency vet appointment so if you can't make an appointment with your normal vet even finding a 24-hour clinic that you can bring your rabbit into how do you find a rabbit veterinarian the first place i always look is the house rabbit society vet listings they have rabbit vet listings across the u.s and even a few international locations the rabbit welfare association and fund has something similar for vets in the uk so you can check those out if if you can't find anyone near you with these listings then what you can do is call just a, a random vet office near you and ask them for their recommendation. A lot of times they will have a couple other veterinary clinics on hand that can help you with the pet that you need help with. So definitely give a couple of them a call and find some place nearby that you can bring your rabbit because you want to try to find a rabbit specialist veterinarian who can help you out. They'll be better equipped to handle rabbit anatomy and the medicine that is normal to use with rabbits. If you want more tips and tricks to help make sure your rabbit can stay healthy, then check out my newsletter. You can get a free PDF about the basics of rabbit care, and then you'll also get my welcoming package to make sure that you have everything you need to take great care of your rabbit. So if that's something that you would be interested in, then go feel free to check it out. I will have a link for you in the description below. It is bunnylady.com slash newsletter. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you were able to get a lot of information from this video, and I do hope that we will see you next week.